Yes, like an animal, even worse. I got my wrists with a rope tied to the bell. It was gone. And then my greatest terror, the paddings which I had carefully installed in the coffin were missing. This was my coffin. And I began to smell the odor of damp, rotting earth. The thing is it had been dead for a long time. Grave. I began to realize what had happened. I started to scream again, and this time I succeeded. I let out a long, wild shriek of agony that reverberated up through the dark ground and somehow, miraculously, caught someone's attention. surrounding the James River. Night came, and an unbelievably fair storm came out of nowhere. We took shelter in the cabin of a deserted ship, anchored at the mouth of the river. We made the best of it, and we were out in the morning for the night. I slept on the bar for this morning, and I got to my disbursements, blankets, with about 18 inches clearance to the walls above my head. It was a tight surface, but I slept well. with the crew of the ship and some more things hanging to unload the cargo after the storm. The dark early snow was to cargo, fertilizers, and chemicals. I had been wearing a silk handkerchief and during the night it slipped around my mouth interfering with my breathing. And my crew had slept through everything, totally witness to my situation. From the tortures he had